Now, long-term viewers of the channel might know that I'm not much of a bush pilot or GA aircraft flyer. I love flying large airliners, which usually involves long periods of time where I put the plane on cruise and just kind of sit there. So instead of rotting in front of my monitor for hours on end, I prefer to go out and do things, whether it may be a run, doing my laundry, enjoying a meal outside, but there's always that lingering feeling about how my flight is doing, whether it's all peaceful or if I'm in an uncontrolled nosedive about to kill all of my passengers. Well, with today's sponsor, Asun Remote, you don't have to worry anymore. Asun is a free-to-download application software from macOS, Windows, and Android that allows you to remotely control your PC using your phone. As can be seen here, I can monitor my flight, control the cameras, and even move things around as needed without having to be anywhere near my monitor. And this doesn't just work for games. As a content creator, I get great peace of mind when I can monitor the status of my video being rendered on my editing software and having the ability to upload videos to YouTube without physically being at my desk or computer is an absolute godsend. The app does allow keyboard customization as well as mouse support and can also support games up to 144 FPS. So log on to the link in the description section of the video to see all of their expanded payment plans, including a pluggable device that can wake up your PC remotely. Once again, that's Awesome Remote, and you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description section of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Flyby Simulations official channel. I know a lot of you have been messaging me in the comment section of some of my videos. I've been seeing it saying, where have you been? Are you dead? Are you alive? Well, here is your news. I am alive. I am very well and I've just been busy with some exam content and some other personal commitments, which is why I haven't been able to commit to YouTube as of late. But we are indeed back on YouTube with all of your latest Microsoft Flight Simulator goodness and news. Starting off with today's video where we will be taking a look at Beyond ATC 2.0 which is a fantastic AI based ATC add-on. If you guys don't know we're going to be taking a very expansive look at it. So for all of that and much more stay tuned. Additionally if you want to stay on top of everything in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator do join our Discord server and subscribe to our channel as well. I'm not going to go into much more self-promotion than that but if you guys do want to support us please please do hit that subscribe button. So going into Beyond ATC 2.0 Oh then, well, the last time we saw Beyond ATC on this channel in these videos you see on screen, it was merely a skeleton of what it was meant to be. Beyond ATC 2.0 now has come very far. First things first, pushbacks have now been implemented officially within the add-on, which means that aircraft aren't just automatically placed on taxiways, but the actual traffic injection and ATC system now understands how pushbacks work. On top of this, of course, taxi, runway crossings, takeoff, and everything has been implemented quite well, and the add-on is definitely coming along quite beautifully, as you'll see in just a second. But before we showcase everything, a couple notes to mention. The creators of this add-on now do stress that everything is still work in progress. So take everything with a grain of salt. Don't be too critical of anything, though there's not much to be critical of, to be honest. But if there's any feedback you might have, share it in a constructive fashion and know that they're already probably aware of it and will be fixing it prior to the release of the add-on officially. So with that all out of the way, let's go into the top five features that I found in this video that really excited me. Feature number one then is pushback clearance situational awareness, as I just mentioned. Given that Beyond ATC controls both the traffic as well as the ATC components, it's important that the aircraft don't clip into each other in the various phases of flight. Watch here how ATC delays the pushback clearance when another aircraft is in the way. United 589er, request pushback. United 589er, San Francisco ground. Hold position for traffic. I'll call you back. Hold position, United 589er. Moving into feature number two then, airline accurate accents are here, ladies and gentlemen. Another feature I absolutely love is that regional accents are to be supported with the add-on. So what I mean by that is that, for example, a British Airways aircraft is likely to sound different than an American Airlines plane. Take a listen for yourself. Speedbird 2X, request taxi runway 10 right. Speedbird 2X, runway 10 right taxi via Alpha, Quebec 1I, Bravo, Zulu, Zulu 1I, Sierra. Runway 10 right taxi via Alpha, Quebec 1E, Bravo, Zulu, Zulu 1E, Sierra, Speedbird 2X. 
Moving on to feature number three then, over to the taxi side of things. Another cool ATC feature is the company traffic callout when you have the same company aircraft being vectored around. Once again, this adds to the contextual awareness and makes the conversations feel way more organic and natural. I mean, it's unlikely that an air traffic controller is going to be repeating the word Southwest, Southwest, or American, American multiple times. Instead, they're probably going to refer to them as company traffic in realistic sounding ATC conversations, which has indeed been implemented by Beyond ATC, as you can take a listen to right now. Southwest 3440, request pushback and engine start. Southwest 3440, San Francisco ground, hold position for company traffic. Hold position for traffic, Southwest 3440. As the taxi phase progresses, we have feature number four, which is that crossing runways is also context dependent. Take a listen. Cross runway one nine or right at Foxtrot one. Continue taxi via Foxtrot one, Alpha Lima. Hold short runway one nine or left, United 2667. And finally, this might be my favorite feature, but airframe-based V-speed calculations are also supported. Now, what does this all mean? Well, it's easy to forget sometimes that Beyond ATC isn't just an ATC add-on, but also a custom traffic injector. Each aircraft's takeoff roll, therefore, depends on a variety of factors, meaning a fully loaded 737 will take off faster than a fully loaded 747, for example, since each airframe has different V-speeds. This is taken into account by Beyond ATC 2.0, and therefore when you see real aircraft departing and arriving into various airports, as well as vacating runways, it is going to be realistically placed with respect to some of the other aircraft you see. Pretty cool, isn't it? Well, I personally am so excited for Beyond ATC 2.0. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are too. With the way the community are responding to the videos on Beyond ATC's YouTube channel themselves, it is pretty apparent that this is probably the most exciting AI ATC add-on, update, whatever, uh, that the community is looking forward to. So I would like to know if the Flyby Simulations community is equally as excited. Speaking of the Flyby Simulations community, I do have to say that we are expanding our presence on YouTube. We have two new YouTube channels that we have created. Number one is called Flyby Expeditions, which focuses on a bunch of new flight simulation content, including full flight videos and even non-commentary videos that are more on the cinematic side of things. The second channel we've created is called Flyby Investigations. It's a project that I've been working on for a long time, covering investigative content into the world of aviation, meaning real aircraft disasters, as well as industry and company reports of what's happening in the world of aviation. So both those channels are already live with no content on there yet, but fear not, I am vigorously working on that content very soon. So if you guys want to support it, if you guys want to help me kickstart that with a bang, then do subscribe to both those channels. Links are down in the description section of the video. With that all said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and thanks for flying by.